Hey guys, I just wanted to show you uh, if you have an old CRT monitor like this and you want to run games at the actual arcade resolution, you don't need Groovy Main and MAME and you don't need all these programs to like set custom super resolutions and all that. Um, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, I can show you. I don't know about AMD, but you're just going to go to your NVIDIA control panel. Let that load up. Pick your display. Let me turn it on. So turn that on and find your display here. You're going to select it. You're going to go to customize. Um, oh, but first, let me show you. So if you want to find out what resolution your game that you want to play runs at, if you have MAME and, and you have the ROM and MAME, um, you can open it up, and uh, I own all these ROMs, so or all these games, so we're, we're we're all good there. So let me just go ahead and open that up. So of course, Mortal Kombat. I don't know what else you'd really want to play. So right here we got. Let me see. 400 by 224. So that's the native resolution that the arcade machine ran this at. So here's the refresh rate. It's 54 point and all of this. Um, you can sync the hertz to the exact hertz. Now when I play this and I, and I record um, my frame rate, I see that it stays locked pretty much at 54 and it doesn't move. So if you wanted to set it to 54 hertz, you could, but I, you just see on CRT monitors, you can see um, uh, strobing, and I don't like that. It just makes me sick. I played in an arcade, and it was actually kind of like that, and I just I don't like it. I like to just leave it at 60. So you found your resolution, 400 by 254. So we're going to go out, close that. Okay, so once you pick your, your CRT monitor there, you're going to, go to customize you're going to create a new resolution so we know that it's 400 by 254 254 um, so you got that and right here the refresh rate it, that's what I was talking about if you want it to sync exactly to what the arcade does um, I mean you could set it to 54 but I, I don't like it so I just leave it at 60 um, so and then there's interlaced or progressive I leave it in progressive it looks better so what you're gonna do is you're gonna test it out now so you're gonna hit test and it's going to switch on your monitor. Um, yes, I'm going to keep that resolution. And okay, so the it, it my screensaver is black right now. It's but the monitor is on, and I'll show you in a sec here. So um, there's the resolution we created. You're going to click it, and you're going to click OK. So now it'll show up. It should show up in your list. Yep, right here. 400 by 254 so you can go ahead and set that resolution now if you want to try to navigate everything in a low resolution environment over here it's kind of hard to do so i just uh you, but you could do that if you have a dedicated arcade cabinet or whatever and you're just playing but um so i'm gonna screen mirror from my laptop to that so i'm just going to close that out and here sometimes it shows up in your display settings um, so I'm going to go to monitor two, that's my CRT, so I'm going to go here, and it doesn't show up in here, but that's okay, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, you have to usually like delete the custom resolution and try again, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, so, um, but okay, let me open Fightcade, and I'll show you the game running at its native resolution, you could also run it through MAME, but, um, yeah, I just, I'll, I'll just do this for right now. Um, so we're going to do Fightcade. Fightcade's cool because you can play online. If you don't already know about it, you can play all these retro games online with other people. It's really fun. So you're going to go to Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> so you're looking to test the game. 
and it's already running at uh, arcade resolution but you're going to want to go to choose full screen monitor and make sure you select the one that's um, the default one here is my laptop and then this is the CRT so I'm just going to pick that hit OK um, and now you're going to go to video and you're looking for full screen resolution horizontal and then you'll see the arcade resolution there this is another custom resolution I made um, but anyway it, it sometimes it shows up in here sometimes it doesn't so the one I just made the 400 by 254 is not in there but we already made the resolution and it, it's, it's already recognized so let me just I'll just do that for now but okay so I'm gonna go to video I'm gonna go to horizontal and I'm gonna switch it to arcade and you'll see it kind of shift so you'll just double click to go to full screen and now oh, wait a minute Hold on a sec. Test game, full screen. There we go. So the humming is from Fightcade. The humming is from Fightcade. Uh, I actually got someone. Oh, no, that's on Street Fighter. But okay, so yeah, here it is running it. It's arcade resolution. And that's how you do it, guys. You don't need all these other programs. Um, now, some people like to sync it to 15 kilohertz. Uh, Mortal Kombat runs at something different. It's like 27 kilohertz. I forget exactly what. But <clears throat> honestly, I'm a little confused on that stuff about uh, kilohertz and, and all that. I know, uh, I assume it's different than refresh rate because if it runs at 54 hertz, I don't know what the kilohertz exactly is. So um, I'm not sure. I just don't want any strobing, so I leave it like it is. But this is in arcade resolution. Uh, it's native res, so it can't really look any better than this. And this is just, it's pretty cool. So if you guys are looking to play games how they're supposed to be played on a CRT, that's an easy way to do it without downloading all that shit. So hope this helped.